Hello everyone, my name is Sans. Welcome to the second episode of watching me implement my business idea. Learn how I will make money online through my online activities. None of this sounded normal. Anyway, so I'm currently on my lunch break and I thought I will utilize the small amount of time that I have. First, to share some gyan and update you on how things are going. Growing up, I saw the adults around me chase money, not by building real skills, but through deception, scamming, chasing after the next big thing and justifying it with like, everyone does it, so why can't we? For the longest time, I believed that wealthy people were just those who took from others. That wealth wasn't about abundance, it was about lack, a void filled at someone else's expense. But getting as far away from that environment as I could and learning from people that I actually respect, literally people that I found online through YouTube or through books, I saw what true abundance could look like, the kind that makes people irreplaceable. And then I made a choice. The kind of richness that I want in my life will come from creating, from serving, from giving, and from making something that genuinely benefits it's others. The richest people aren't the ones who take. They're the ones who give so much value that the world gives back. And through all of this, I want to stand by the message that you become rich from within first and then like anything on the outside matters. Previously, I discussed about the three ideas that I had. First was a clothing store. Second idea was digital products. And third was creating micro SaaS applications that do just one function. Here's the update on how everything is going. For the hoodies, actually around two years ago, two years ago, yeah, it's 2025. So back in 2023, I really wanted to create hoodies with my logo and I used like my free educational Figma plan to create some designs and those are the designs that I'm using for my hoodies. Oh look what I received in the mail. So fun. I'm going to wear this to work today. Let's get ready. I'm not sure what value the hoodie is going to provide except it's going to make you look extremely stylish. So I really hope people watching this are convinced to buy my hoodie. I've ordered a few for myself. This is what the hoodie looks like. I ordered the small size and it's kind of oversized. The quality of the cloth is really good, really soft, and it's made in Korea, not in China. On the website, you can see that it says that it's not recommended to wash it in the washing machine. It should either be dry cleaned or hand washed to maintain its quality. I really, really like it. I like it more than I expected. It's available in a bunch of very classic colors. I'm also gonna get this other hoodie which has this really cute star logo. It's a hood zip up actually. For making this into a successful business model, once I've uploaded it on my store, I'm gonna make it look professional, marketing being the most important. My second idea was digital products. What is the unique knowledge that I have that I can create into a digital product and sell it to people? Since I work at a resume company, I know a lot about how to write a good resume. In general, just how to make a good job application. AI is literally taking over jobs. Thousands of people have been laid off, especially in the tech industry. And if you're one of those people, please use this free guide to create a resume and start start applying again. If you implement the advice here, for sure you're gonna hear back from companies. But then to pass the rounds and actually get a job, you'll have to study for the technical interviews. The guide also gives you a completely free template that you can edit and download in any format. Even though I'm trying to earn money through this challenge, this first digital product is completely free. Just take it. It's my gift to you. My third idea was to create micro SaaS that does one function really well. Over the course of 100 days, I will probably end up creating a lot of these kind of websites and add a donation button at the bottom. Like with these websites, it's super clear to me the value that I'm providing, but I don't think I'm monetizing it in the best way. The stack that I'm going to be using for this is a Next.js React because I want to have server-side rendering and I want to be able to use the API routes. Like it's going to be a full stack thing. I don't want to have a separate backend for this for design. Tailwind CSS, no database because I don't want to be storing anyone's information. All of this is going to be hosted on Vercel. It's going to be on my hobby plan for now and if required, I'm going to upgrade it. I want to talk about some blockers. Even when I know what I'm supposed to do and I know how to do it, it's just I'm not doing it because I'm tired, because I'm feeling burnt out. I just don't do it and I haven't been able to like go deep down into the psychology of like why am I not doing it? So this has been a huge blocker. It's deeper than just procrastination. Another psychological blocker that I've noticed in myself is I am afraid of making something shitty. But at the same time, I know that it's going to be bad in the beginning. And if I keep iterating on it, it's going to get better. These are psychological blockers. No one is physically blocking me from doing it. It's just feeling a high lack of motivation and bias for inaction. I've heard Ali Abdul talk about this, that all the successful people he knows have a strong bias for action. I'm literally the opposite. I have a strong bias for inaction.
Let's talk about some successes. When I released my previous video, I had this software company called Scrimbar reach out to me to sign up for their affiliate program. And that is so insane because the only time some company has contacted me is when they're scammers. When I looked at the software, like this is a Y Combinator company. This is why you need to have a YouTube channel because this is how you get opportunities to make money outside of work. Isn't that awesome? They also have a podcast on YouTube and I highly recommend it to other software engineers. I gained a lot of insights from them. Okay, I'm yapping for too long. I have to go to work now. The view is really beautiful. Look at the sunset. Isn't that beautiful?